$20 billion for an abandoned space shuttle. When people think of space, NASA is usually the first name that comes to mind. But did you know that the USSR was on the verge of taking that spot? The Soviet Beer and Space Program was designed to be the USSR's response to NASA's space shuttle, a massive engineering achievement that could have solidified Soviet supremacy in space. It was larger than a commercial airliner, nearly as long as a Boeing 747, and weighed more than 60 tons. However, unlike its American counterpart, the Buran was fully automated and made history as the first and only space shuttle to complete a mission without a pilot on board. But what happened to it? Initially, the program was a success. Its debut flight in 1988 went off without a hitch. The Buran launched atop the powerful Energia rocket, orbited Earth twice, and made a perfect landing all on its own. In many respects, this shuttle was a game changer, demonstrating that the Soviets had created something even more advanced than NASA's shuttle. Just three years later, disaster struck when the USSR collapsed, and with it, the Buran project disappeared overnight. The billion dollar shuttles were left to decay. Some were dismantled, while others were left to gather dust in hangars deep within Kazakhstan's Baikonur Cosmodrome, a once bustling Soviet launch site now reduced to a ghost town. In fact, the original Buran orbiter remained in a forgotten hangar for over 30 years, gathering dust and slowly rusting away. To make matters even worse, in 2023, disaster struck once more when the entire roof of the hangar caved in burying the Buran shuttle under tons of steel and concrete. This wasn't just an accident, it was the final blow to a forgotten relic of the space race. A machine built to withstand the vacuum of space, the searing heat of re-entry, and the immense forces of launch was ultimately brought down by neglect and a collapsing roof. To put it in perspective, it's like discovering a rare Lamborghini prototype abandoned in a barn, left to rot for decades only on a far grander scale. The Buran was an engineering marvel, lost to time simply because history moved too fast for it to have a place. Today, the remnants of the program serve as a haunting reminder of what might have been. The hangars, once alive with thousands of Soviet engineers, now sit in 